So imagine you have an idea for a beat or you just want to sit down and create something and you go and open up machine and there's nothing there. I mean, nothing. The browser is blank. Now this didn't just happen with machine, it happened with machine, complete control and contact. And I've been dealing with this for over two weeks. So what this means is that whenever I went to make a beat, obviously machine is blank. I couldn't do anything inside a machine. None of my sounds were there, so I had no access. So machine was out of the question. Then I tried Logic, opened up complete control. There it was, blank still. Now there was nothing I could do about that. However, when I opened up contact, there was a workaround where I had to go into file, load or load recent to pull up something i've used but whenever i went to click on the libraries there were no presets or anything like that it always said no results found try new search the thing is i wasn't searching anything and if you are experiencing this there could be a few different problems along with a few different solutions so i definitely understand how frustrating that can be and after spending two weeks trying to troubleshoot everything on my own and also getting help from native instruments i finally found a solution via reddit and i'm going to share that solution with you guys in this video but first i'm going to run through how i troubleshooted everything because honestly what i did may be the solution to your problem and it may not be however if you go through the steps that i'm about to mention here it may help before you even get to the point of doing what I had to do. When I say I tried everything, I tried everything. I even updated my Mac OS just to see if that was some type of compatibility issue. Didn't do anything. I uninstalled and reinstalled the machine, complete control and contact didn't work at all. And as I just previously mentioned, your solution to your problem, if you run across this, may be different from the solution for mine. So I'm going to run through the list of problems and troubleshooting that I know that can help with this problem. Let's go ahead and talk about it. First things first, this may sound crazy, but if you open up machine contact or complete and you are having an issue loading your libraries or something that's blank or it gives you a warning that something's missing, check your external hard drives. I install all my content on external hard drives. They are not on my main computer just because I do not want it to take up so much space that I'm not able to do anything on my computer. I made that mistake years ago where I had gigs of sounds on a computer and I couldn't even do anything else outside of that. And in my experience, sometimes these external hard drives can unmount or the cable may not be working or just may not be plugged in all the way. And a simple fix like that, make sure everything's plugged in close out machine or whatever software you're using at the time, open it back up. And from there, if it pops up, great. If it doesn't, we got to keep going to something else. Now, the next thing you want to do is open up each program in standalone mode. Now, this is if you're having problems with contact or complete control because machine is its own software. I mean, I guess if you're using machine as a VST, open it up on its own, but I already used it as its own program to make beats in so that's already out the question for me personally however if something's not showing up in machine and it's showing up inside of let's say contact or complete control that shows that there's an issue with those two programs and not machine or vice versa if it's not showing up in those but it shows up in machine then there's something wrong with those so make sure you try it that way and if that doesn't work go to your preferences go to library settings and from there make sure that your library settings are directing to wherever your contact libraries or whatever libraries you have are located again the content folders that's important because if you don't have that there it's not going to be able to find it anyway and if your library preference or settings is blank then go ahead and add in your locations there and run a rescan that will help everything repopulate. And if that doesn't work, go ahead and close them out. I mean, if you tried it in contact and didn't work, close it out. Machine, close it out. Complete control, close it out. Close them all out. From there, you wanna check native access. You wanna make sure that everything is up to date. Sometimes there could be an update that you weren't aware of or you just didn't feel like updating to and that could throw things off. So you wanna make sure everything is up to date. Now, once you do that, go into the settings of native access and make sure that your content library is to wherever you want it to be and make sure that same location matches the location that you had set inside of contact 
etc. A great way to do this to make sure that everything still works is to go into contact, go to load and then either load recent or load and then go to that location and load up a contact library sound just to make sure everything still works because then that shows you it's not about the locations, it's about something else. And once you've done that, go ahead and close out native access and try this resetting your database. So this is a common thing. I've had to do it in the past. Not all the time. It's not something I do every few months or something, but over years I've had to reset my database. You could easily find the instructions on how to reset your database just by doing a quick Google search or going on the native instruments forums. So I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of it. I'm on Mac. So Windows, I know is a little bit different on Mac. You just want to go to finder, go hold down the alt key, go to library. I believe it's application support. And then from there, native instruments from there go to either machine contact, complete control, whichever program you're having this issue with, you'll see a database file. I believe it ends in dot D B three. I believe that's the ending of it. And from there, what you want to do is where you see complete db3, drag that to the trash, delete it. Now open up contact or whatever program you're using and allow it to repopulate, rescan everything. And it should build back up the database. And from there, if everything works, that's all you needed to do. If not, you got a little bit more work to do, but hopefully this next one will solve it. I found this on Reddit. I'm gonna put a link to the Reddit post here just in case you guys wanted in more detail. I'm gonna put a screenshot on it or actually show you guys the screen. And I came across this just diving through online trying to find some more solutions. I went through so many different posts of people having similar problems and it was just the database. It wasn't the favorites folder, which is what this is about. It is literally about the favorites folder. Now, here's the instructions on what you need to do to get rid of the favorites folder and a couple other files. So to me, it really seems like the main problem is the favorites folder. When I was trying to use these programs, it just kept saying new search. I wasn't searching anything. However, my sounds and everything were still in the right locations. They were still being read by the programs, but it was a screen covering it just saying no results. Now that tends to happen if you search something, but I wasn't. And it also kind of looks similar to if you're trying to look at user presets and you don't have any. However, removing your favorites definitely helped. And this was a very simple fix. The downside to this is you will lose all of your favorites. I lost all my favorites that I had over the years. I guess I could have went and tried to reinsert my favorites to see if that would work, but I just let everything get deleted, start over fresh. So I'm gonna have to go through thousands of sounds again to favorite my favorites, but it's all good. It's worth it to me because now I can easily just open up machine or contact whatever I'm using and access all of my sounds. That was crazy how I had no access to the drums, no access to the keys I use, the pads. Of course I had access to other VSTs such as the Arteria stuff, Pigments, you have Nexus, Omnisphere, Keyscape, I had all of that. So I was still fine, but sometimes I just want to use my native instrument stuff and it makes it so much easier, especially if I'm working inside of Logic, I will open up Machine and drag and drop my sounds from Machine to Logic for my drums, loops, whatever. It's just, a, just my workflow, I would do that. So being able to do that again is great. And when I saw this Reddit post with the solution, I did not think it was gonna work. I'm not gonna to lie to you, but I'm very grateful that this person decided to share their experience with the internet. Even though I had to dig for it, I'm making this video because I'm sure somebody else out there is dealing with it. There were other posts, people talking about, you know, after they deleted the database, still didn't work. It wasn't a lot, but it was still some. So I'm sure somebody out there may be dealing with this. And if they come across this video, hopefully this video will help them get back to creating the way they want to create and have access to their sounds. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to work with native instruments and I'm able to get a lot of things, but I'm sure a lot of people spend their hard earned money and that would be very frustrating if I spent a lot of money on something and from there I wasn't able to access it. So I felt it would be my duty to share this with you guys anybody out there who needs it. Now do all this at your own risk because if something does mess up, hey, that's not on me. I'm passing this along to you. But 
when you're not using your stuff for a few weeks, you kind of feel like I'm ready to do whatever. Even uninstalling everything and reinstalling it, I knew I might lose some stuff, but I was just trying to get back to it. And being that that Reddit post was over six years old and only having a few comments on it, I feel like it will get buried on the internet. So I wanted to go ahead and just share this. So if you're having any of these problems, hopefully you'll find a solution here because I listed multiple solutions that may help. But that last one was the one that helped me. I appreciate y'all tuning in out there. Hopefully you all have a great day. Good luck out there making that music. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Take care. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled how I use machine. I cover everything from how I started beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.